Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. In this one we'll be dealing with the Giant's Mountaintop Catacombs, which is my number two point here. Uh, before we do that though, we're going to head south into the Zamor Ruins, which um, is going to reward us with a few bits of loop. Sorry, I just had to turn my headset down, but things were a little bit loud. Hopefully there's not too much background noise. I am currently using a fair amount of fans because it is rather hot at the moment. <laughs> Currently having a nice, lovely heat wave that is making it very difficult not to be sweaty all of the time, and I prefer to not be doing that. So, so we're just going to drop over here, um, go straight down into this ruin. There are a lot of the ancient Zamor hero type enemies here. You should have faced a fair few of them um, if you've been following along on the walkthrough, uh, but I just don't find them very nice as standard enemies, particularly if they start mobbing you. There are a lot of them around here, so we're going to avoid getting too um, enamoured with fighting them. As you can see, that's all of the good spells from here though. Not spells, uh, loot from here. We've got the spell, we've got the bell bearing, uh, which is rather nice, which allows us to just basically exit the area. There's probably some nice loot in here, um, but I really didn't spend too long exploring it. We got all of the stuff that we wanted, and so now we're able to just move on around. <clears throat> As we uh, start moving forward, you're going to want to make sure you have um, ranged ability available. These can be a bit of a pain. They start bearing down on you too much. Mason Butterfly. Now we're almost at the kind of place where um, we can farm Otteri leaves, so I may end up putting my um, perfumes to good use once we arrive at such a point. Yes, keep on going around, keep on going around. Um, it's up to you kind of which order you want to do things in here. There's a little bit of loot just out the front. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. That way, when we move on to the next episode, we'll be able to just cross the bridge. That'll be um, that'll be good. So we've got our leaves. I th believe this is an incantation. Might be a spell. Briar punishment. And then we can just hook on around. for the catacomb. I believe we have a death route in here, and it should be the second to last one, I think. How many do we, how many do we have now? Let's have a look here. Five. There's one in here, six. One in the seven. Might be missing one, I'm gonna have to double check where the death routes are. There's one underneath the um, the lift of roll, but we can't get there yet. And there's one here. I know that much. So this is where things start getting nasty, and um, burial watchdogs are apparently normal enemies now. Um, if I remember rightly, there's one down here. One minute. Oh man! You got me good there. Look at what I've got healing on. Oh, a bit of a sniffle. Sorry about that. Is this the one that I think it is? I think so. So deep, main. I think we actually need to send this back up. Yes. Let's deal with you. almost feeling like a good idea to start using something like one of the Scarabs headsets that reduce the FP cost of spells. I feel like that's a good way. The problem is if you take extra damage, we've already got the Scorpion charm on. I feel like it'd be, uh, well, difficult. Yes, this is what I'm thinking about. 
really weird how sometimes it penetrates. So this is going to aggro on us straight away. Um, I don't really recommend fighting them because, as you can see, the sheer amount of health they have is a little bit on the obscene. Although, getting you stuck there is real nice for me. This way, as you can see, I'm going to see if we can free him a shard at that. No. Yes, there we go. That worked quite nicely. It means I'd have to keep getting the bow out. How nice is that? Now, if you try to just run down there, um, it's just going to breathe ice at you. So, you have two options. You can either draw it away and then run down there, fire a thing at it to knock it down. And then just kind of kite it around. So it's not like the barrier watchdogs are particularly fast. Or you can fight it like we just did. It's up to you guys. But um, at this point of the game, they are a pain in the ass. So I recommend. Oh my gosh! Look out of here. That's not going to work very well for me, is it? Two hits, man. I'm just, and I'm like pretty much dead. Oh, and I'm out of FP. <laughs> Get off me! This is the second most powerful glintstone spell. It's still taking like three shots to kill a freaking imp. The uh, the health upgrade is a little bit much. Just because the what's the word like how instantly that is. It does make me feel like we need to switch to comet. Which is a bit absurd, really, when you consider the FP cost. And again... It's not going to have hit, is it? No. That one should have, though. Okay, apparently we don't have the range. Any one of these will work. Knock that down. And as you can see, we have another barrel watch out there. We're not going to bother with the whole um, fighting it. Excuse me. Oh, I forgot there was an enemy in there. I knew there was an invisible wall, but I forgot that there was an enemy. Get down. So we're just going to run in and uh, grab the loot behind it. Let it come over towards us a little bit first. Anyway, I mean, I suppose we could fight you. This actually isn't even an issue for us, is it? As long as it doesn't activate this trap on me, I'll do. Grab a salute. I don't think this is anything amazing either. Oh, five more caches. I guess we do want one. There we are. Very watchdogs are going to be a pain in the ass. Um, I think in one of the dungeons, there's actually a room with two of them in. It's uh, a bit much. <clears throat> if I'm honest. And I feel like the... I don't want to call it annoyance, maybe they did that on purpose, but it is mostly um, the side dungeons that are the biggest problem with like enemy health and stuff. Um, like when I think about the actual places that we go, so uh, Faramazula and uh, I think it's called Elfail or the Halig Tree, 
Um, the actual enemies in the um, Legacy Dungeons themselves are not that bad. It's mostly these dungeons that the enemies are the worst in, I find. That um, Blessed Judo is doing wonders for me. Continue down. It's going to save me so many health potions. Now we've got exploded jars. Let me lock on. I can see it. Oh, it's this one! I think, I think this is the one where I was thinking about before, where it's kind of like repeats itself a bit. Is it? Because the switch is up there. Yes, it is. Where's the other one? There's another big part that usually sp comes spinning off the top. No? Okay. Sure there is. Make sure you dodge the tile there. Usually that hits me, but I really don't want to die right now, so... This is where the exploding parts are. Stay over there! The most annoying thing about them is, they don't actually hurt each other. So... You can't, like, chain explode them like you can with some other enemies that have similar mechanics. Unless it's changed, but that's how it usually always has been for me. Go with you. I think we can deal with these easily. Going around this way, this is where all the, um, what they called land spurts are. Which are the baby ones. I can't remember the, what the order is for this is now. Oh no, we're going to get lost. <laughs> this is going to be funny. You. You really want to. thing we can do. Saves me some FP. Ritual pot. Very nice, thank you. And then we drop off through here. Which is a copy of where we just were. So the first thing we want to do is not get blown up. Head back towards the way you would have thought you'd come from, where there's going to be another burial watchdog. As you can see under there, there's a gap. That's actually the path of progression. But we're going to clear the rest of this stuff out first. Do I really want to fight you? Oh, why not? <laughs> why not? We're going to have to reset the grace anyway. Oh man, what? Where did you come from? No, I'm dead. I'm dead. There's no way I'm surviving this. Oh, of course they're not the Why? Why have they all activated now? Wait. Get it! Get it! Get it! Really? It's wasted for me. I don't know how I got out of that, that's funny. Get out of it. <sighs> okay. Wow, well, someone's got a loud bike. It's a quad actually. Somebody just enjoys running around on a quad all day. Ow! Get off. Alright, where's your friend? I can't believe we survived. Oh no, no! We fought so hard!
<laughs> I shouldn't be alive right now. My shoddy gameplay. We're not going to survive this now, though. We're gonna, not going to have enough FP. Mostly because of these. These are a freaking pain in the ass. There's no way to regenerate. Well, actually... Oh, we didn't get it. There is something we could use, but we didn't get it. I should have shown it to you guys way before this as well. There is a... Uh, Talisman that gives you FP for each kill. Which I can't help but feel like would be amazing right now. I got one heal left to get us around. I think that should actually be okay. Right, so we'll do a quick run around. Um, we'll just basically have to avoid taking too much damage and only fight things that are completely essential. Like that. Almost forgot. That would have been a fun death. Oh, we've got all these. Ho ho! That's the luckiest I've ever been here. You can't even, like, poke these ones, because they'll just blow up on you. And they can also just cancel the fact that they're they're lit, which is mega annoying. So they're, like, not guaranteed to blow up or anything. You. What? You. FP. Okay, so we're going to run past all these. It's just so we get a little bit of loot in here. that done and then when we drop down kind of in the same place as last time it actually takes us back to the same place we we're already in if I remember rightly so it's not the switch but it kind of almost traps you in here which if you don't know your way around can be rather troubling but as I kind of already alluded the way out is over here I think you can't fast travel out yeah so you can actually get lost and trapped in here I don't think we need to fight this one. There is a big jar down here. If I remember rightly. So the plan is going to have to be get out of here. We don't want to drop down to the next level anyway because that's going to take us back to the original way we came in. So we just literally need to run around. Just run around. Grab the switch. Grab the switch. And that is going to open the boss door means I have a rest at the grace get some get some flasks back can't believe we survived we should not have survived <laughs> who playing like glass cannon at this stage of the game is really really funny really funny makes me want more damage though I need to find a way to get more damage uh, we want to go up not down Now there is the Graven Mass Talisman close to us, which is an additional 8% damage for the spells. And that's kind of always active, so we would get, I think it's 10% from the Ritual Sword, we're only at full health. 8% mm, could be good. Is 
This is going to result in me putting a lot of points into intelligence that is just not efficient, but I don't really care. One of the more annoying things about this one is, as you can see, there's going to be a lot of imp things that we need to um, take care of on the way to and from the boss. Come on. I can do one, I think. Wow, I can't stun you. Come here. I'm sure there's another one. It's tricking me. Guess not. Um, and maybe, maybe we'll extend the blue bar. I don't know, I don't know at the moment. <laughs> it's, it's all difficult to choose. We could get more endurance so we can wear better armor. <laughs> I need more defense. No, uh, that's going to get to 40. We've got to get that to 40. But 70 is such a nice round number. <laughs> I'm playing so stupid. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We shouldn't be leveling. I shouldn't be leveling up this way. Where's the rest of them? Excuse me. I know. I know. There's a trap here. You. And then where's the other one? It's not dropping down. Good. You. Where's the others? And you know what? We should actually be using this right now while I'm on full health, but I'm about to not be. You. So close to a one shot. Come on. Can't trust nothing. So very close. So you could run mega high risk and put the 8% on instead of the ghost scarab. But I just like to have the gold golden scarab. I really do. I feel like the those runes are worth more than most of the other talismans you can put on. Okay, so we're here and ready. Let's it's on. Uh yeah, go in there, summon Lootle. Like the boss. What is it? Oh, <laughs> Saw the ground rumbling. Ah, oh, it's one of these fun things. No, I don't think so somehow, buddy boy. Tried that twice in a row. That's just mean. <laughs> Lutal, attract its attention. Don't run to me, get it. Come on, you're supposed to be the distraction. Yeah, there we go. Right. Oh, I'm using the wrong thing again. Short spiral! Come here. Get out of the way of all that. Quick. <laughs> Eat it. And don't forget this either. This is something that I have, ha I have a habit of doing is forgetting to get this chest on the way out. I was more happy than that, maybe I should have been. But, uh. Also, Tree Spirit, you love Shard Spiral, don't you? So, that's going to end the episode. Giant's Mountain Tomb. Mountain Top Catacombs is complete. We've got all the loot around here, which is nice. Um. You can see the structure on top of here. We can't get to there for quite a while. We have to kind of progress around. I mean, I suppose you could rush there if you really wanted. But, like, the map fragment to see that side is, like, down here somewhere. Um. And as you can see, you kind of have to go all the way north to come all the way south. And there's a dungeon realistically we want to take care of before we do that. We're going to be doing this soon as well. So I'll see you all in the next episode where we push north.